and counting. That's how many homicides have now been recorded in the city of St. Louis this year. The city is on pace for one of the deadliest years in decades. That 200th homicide victim is a man whose body was found in South St. Louis this morning. Many of the homicide and shooting victims are younger people, including young children. Ray Preston is live with a look at the devastating toll it's taking on the community. Ray? Well, both Cardinal Glennon and St. Louis Children's Hospital are seeing record numbers of victims brought to the emergency room with gunshot wounds. I can speak to um, most of our staff and all of our staff and say that we're absolutely devastated by this. In May, St. Louis Children's Hospital treated 17 young people with gunshot wounds, the highest one month total ever. Two months later, it topped that. An emergency medicine physician says there are many reasons why. Gun sales have surged during the pandemic, worsening unemployment, poverty, increasing mental health issues. I think it has a lot to do with the reduction in social supports, um, the increases in stressors, and the increases in, in anxiety and boredom. So there's feelings of isolation and depression, and those have all been exacerbated by the pandemic. During the flood of 93, St. Louis recorded 267 homicides, the highest number in the past 35 years. This year, the city is on pace for 274. Crime Stoppers is getting more tips, but is not keeping pace with the sheer number of killings and would like to see more help from the community. And we can get that information to the detectives within moments of getting the information. Plus, nobody has to know you're calling in. You've got an app on your phone. So if you're at a crime scene, you can take pictures, you can take video, you can be completely anonymous. At Children's Hospital, they'll soon be stepping up efforts with their violence intervention program. Every time a child gets injured, every time a child dies, it's it's unbelievably hard. But when this is completely preventable and this is, you know, it's, it's just it's so tragic. It, it's really what keeps you up at night. And as part of that violence intervention program, social workers will interact with any child or family that comes to the emergency room and encourage them to enroll in the program. Now, if they do, they'll be lined up with a mentor who will then focus on school, relationships, job opportunities, and parenting techniques, among other things. Reporting live, Ray Preston, News 4.